So like a lot of us, we're not just interested in distilling, we also make our own beers and wines. Uh, I've got some in the background going, just some carrot wine. Um, I do like making uh, lots of wine as well. Make out of anything, anything at all. Uh, fruits, vegetables, leaves, flowers. I mean, it's endless. So um, what I've done a few times is I've made a, like a mixed, ber a dark berry mix. Uh, of just uh, frozen fruit from the uh, supermarket. That's turned out okay, but there's one fruit in there that slightly overpowers everything, which is, yes, the strawberry. Um, so I thought next time I make a batch, what I'll do is I'll just pluck them on out, get out of there, get out of there. Um, and then I'll do what I've done with a few other bits and pieces, which is to just infuse them. So. Let's give it a go. So there's the frozen fruit into my primary fermenting bucket and I've just plucked out all the strawberries. And then I just chopped them up and chucked them into the jar. So I ended up with 500 grams of the strawberries and I had some neutral spirit lying about and I needed to cut that down to 70% ABV just so I had enough volume to cover the uh, berries completely. So this is half a litre of 70% going in. So just to smooth it out a touch and sweeten it up a little bit, um, I chucked in about 50 grams of sugar. So there's no hard and fast rules with this kind of thing. First couple of days I shook it up just to help dissolve the sugar. Um, this is about four days later. Um, and to my eye it looks as if the fruit's done its job so that's good enough for me. So all I've got to do now is just strain this off and bottle it up. So here we are at the end of the video with the final product, the strawberry infusion. And uh, as you can see, look at the colour on that. Hopefully that comes out okay, that's immense. And the aroma of strawberries is pretty intense as well, I have to say. So all's good. What I do with this, obviously it was strained off the berries at 70% uh, ABV. So I still obviously needed to cut that down to a more drinkable level. So I took a measured amount and then cut it down to 40% ABV. And then I took another measured amount and cut that down to low 30% ABV. Um, reason being, my infusions, whatever you're doing, is um, palatable to yourself, what you like. So some of the things I do, if it's 40%, it's good. If I cut it down to 30, it's even better, and vice versa. So I did the same with this one. And... Um, I didn't like either of it. <laughs> I didn't know. But before you switch off, there was a saviour in the in the <laughs> in the sidelines, and that saviour is sugar. The change it made to this infusion was incredible. So, um, with the the two samples set to one side, um, I took the rest of it that was left and measured it out and then worked out obviously how much uh, water needed to uh, cut it down to 40% and then of that water also added I think it was another 60 grams maybe I think it was a bit more than 60 grams but <clears throat> again the quantities don't don't really matter too much because it was down to my personal taste not yours so with that water and the extra sugar, I boiled it down into like the syrup and then let it cool right down and then added it into the, the remainder of the 70%, um, thus making 40% sweet um, strawberry infusion and then the 40% and the other 30% of um, watered down infusion also went in so it's a right mixed bag in here to be honest but it's still all hovering just under 40 percent abv and a lot sweeter than the initial cold fusion now if you can get your head around that little 
thing. I know, I know it sounds a bit messed up, but it's the same thing again. You can do whatever you like to your infusions, to your distillations, and it's all down to your own personal tastes. This one, I'm going to leave this to mature for a bit longer, um, but I'm roughly talking it, you know, 500 grams of sugar. No, it wasn't. 500 grams of um, fruit ended up with a litre of 40% ABV and maybe 150 grams of sugar. And that's come out a treat now. I'm chuffed as nuts. So going from one, oh, no, that's too thin. I don't like the taste of that too. That's, that's really nice. I can imagine sipping back on that on a nice summer's afternoon along with the uh, lemoncello uh, and the banana syrup liqueur and uh, all the other bits and pieces I've been making. So yeah, that's a good one again. Um, so I saved me bacon in a way. I can use strawberries in whatever form, but infusing it into my alcohol is always a bonus, isn't it? So there we go. And um, yet again, the sun's come out. So if you enjoy the hobby of distilling, then just keep on doing it and uh, make sure you keep on shining.